So there's a lot of questions that still need some answers. Hey, and, Traeger and, wants and to not go all back this... on, on Stefan, by the way. He wants that. He wants, <laughs> he wants to talk about Stefan. I, well, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I I'm trying to say, he hasn't I'm trying to say Heath right now. Heath, please answer the Zach Stefan thing for Traeger. I, Zach, Zach Stefan, after this window, is not my number one. And he's showing that either he's not healthy or his confidence isn't there. But how could your confidence be there? He doesn't play games. Would you ever feel confident if you went three months and all you play is a game? Like, I know goalkeepers are different. Uh, they are and different. I know that's, that's <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, Your Honor, my, my client is built different. Uh, I, 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 I get that. But you still want to have everybody that's in your lineup as, as much as possible getting games because it's going to make them better. It's better experience and things like that. He's been solid. You he's know been good. I like when he's good with his feet. But in these two last games, I just didn't feel like he was at his best in a way that you go like in the way that when we went back to, to Matt Turner between him and they went with Stefan, you go, Oh yeah, it makes sense. Stefan, he's good with his feet. He's a good leader and those types. Of, I didn't see that same level of like chest out confidence that we get with him where fundamentally he's sound for 90 minutes straight. What's interesting is I'm glad you brought up the knock in the Panama game. I completely forgot that that happened and I thought he was going to come out. That's what the knock looked like. I thought he was going to come out and we're going to see Horvath. I was like, sweet. We were already in control of that Panama game at that point. So why not just throw Horvath out there? And maybe, maybe there was something there, but clearly he was fit enough to start this one. There is something lacking. He doesn't seem sharp. I think that's probably what you're getting to. And I think it opens up the door for Matt Turner to potentially come through. Now we've seen, and there's been evidence of Zach Steffen's feet coming in handy, playing out of tough situations, dropping a, drop it a little uh, dime over, you know, an opposing forward and into one of our outside backs. It does unlock some of that pressure. Mm -hmm. Matt Turner doesn't have that in his bag consistently. And we've seen Matt Turner in the Canada game where he had an opportunity to start a good one. Didn't That wasn't Matt Turner's best game of all time. But mm -hmm. in terms of shot stopping and, and maybe being a little bit more consistent with, with, and I think where I saw Zach Steffen get a little bit iffy in the Panama game was coming off of his line. And if Matt Turner can be a little bit more consistent in that space and, and make good decisions, because as, as former defenders, all you want is, your, is to know what your goalkeeper is going to do in every situation. That way, you know, okay, I know he's coming out here and I can get in behind him and, and protect the line in case he misses it or whatever. But if you're going up for balls and you don't know if the goalkeeper is coming out, yeah, you've got to figure that shit out because that is going to hurt us. And, and I said this before to somebody when I was watching the game, Set pieces are killers, man. Like that could really separate us from whether we're going to get through the group stages or not. And if we're not locking things down defensively, and I hate zonal defending on set pieces, by the way, I said it earlier. I'm going to say it again. I cannot say it. Just man mark. You can maybe have one person be zonal. Okay. Kind of, kind of in the space in the six yard box by the goalkeeper, maybe somebody at the post or whatever. But, but outside of that, everybody's got a man mark. There's no way that that somebody standing still is going to out jump somebody who's got a running start. Just never going to happen. So I hate that, but, but set pieces are going to prove to be the difference. And, and tonight set pieces were the difference. They scored two of their goals off of set pieces. Sure. One was a broken play, but it started because Zach Steffen didn't punch it. He tried to catch it. And we had a ton of set pieces. We had free kicks. We had corner kicks, probably the most we've ever seen in a game. I was like, God damn it. We got a whole bunch of these. And I was thinking, man, when I talk to the in soccer, we trust crowd. I'm going to get into the fact that we were being proactive in the, at least in the first half where we, we, we got a ton of corners mm -hmm. and, and we were in and around our, uh, our attacking third, their defensive third. We were putting them under pressure. It wasn't run to play, but that's where the space, we were taking what they were giving us and we were trying to make the most of it. Now we lost our way a little bit in the second half, but those set pieces are going to be so vital in, in, in the world cup. They are, and we have to have them locked down on both sides and we need a goalkeeper to get back to Zach Steffen a goalkeeper that's going to make consistent decisions when we're defending them, because that's going to make a big difference for everybody else. Hey, I, can I just say also, cause I just popped over to Twitter. People oh, are no. pretty pissed off about the way in which this national team qualified. And I get it. I too am holding these guys to a standard that I haven't ever held a national team, including the ones that I played on to because of the quality that we have. And like what's been mentioned before the players, where they play their club ball and who they play with and where they spend their time on a regular basis at the mm -hmm. level that they have to play to compete for starting spots right. that many of them have. Gio Reyna, Christian Pulisic, I don't need to say them. Uh, 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 Serginho Dest, who obviously wasn't here. We <laughs> also... Uh, you I know, don't have to people. say him, but Serginho Dest was yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to point out, I mean, it's a, it's a reminder that we have guys playing at the top five, ten clubs in the world right now and, and consistently, and I think that's an unbelievable thing. 
but you can never take away the fact that they qualified, you know, it, right. it's, 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 and it's a little easy now and convenient now to be like, well, just qualify. And then when they qualify, yeah, but look at the way that you did it. You know, like, <laughs> you, you, you didn't, you I, I you love didn't your Bob Bradley it, voice. Keep you going. didn't do it in a way that was <laughs> up to my liking, you know, where I was like, to be honest with you, I thought they fought pretty well today. And I thought they fought pretty good uh, throughout uh, this qualifying campaign. They had a couple off moments, but overall, I, I, I still have to say that I'm super proud of this group. I don't want to lose sight of that. Of course, I'm super of proud of what this group has done, uh, considering that I remember my first qualifier and I remember how hard that was. And I remember just how foreign it was to me to go into that. I think it was a way to Guatemala or something like that. And, and it was a really hard one. And it's none of these guys experienced that until they experienced that this qualifying for a world cup is not the nation's league. That's a brand new tournament. It's whatever, like you've said, Jimmy, you know, it's not, uh, it's not the gold cup, which is a tournament that comes every so often. And we're the favorites on every time it's world cup qualifying and everyone's playing for their lives. All the teams. And like you said, there's more teams in it this year. So I, I know I'm on a little bit of a rant, but I, I, I don't want to lose sight of you and I being critical right, right, with, right, with just right, how, right, right, how, right, how, right, how right, important right. it was that they got this job done. You know, you go back to the turning point against Honduras, very down moment going into that halftime of going, man, this might be, history repeating itself all over again. We were so far from that by the end of what Honduras was. We were in control of our own destiny from that moment on where we had a few slip-ups, not great against Canada. We didn't get a result at, at, Azteca, at Azteca. But overall, we pretty much won our home games and tried to get a point on the road and did enough. Now, could it be better? Yes. But am I still happy with the way that the fact that we're, we're getting to criticize a team that's going to the World Cup? What a privilege to be able to do that. <laughs> because four years ago... That was something that no one in the U.S. would have ever imagined. And it was probably a long time coming based on what we were trying to do, what we were trying to create, and the fact that we were sort of sweeping the issues under the rug or trying, doing enough to qualify but not doing enough to be a great national team. And now we are far from that. Look at the talent of these players. Look at the quality of these players. We can, we can, we can deal with all these 18, 19, 20, 21-year-olds getting better over time and hopefully being better by the world.